Well, you know, there was a guy who had evidence planted on him after a DUI stop. Well, that person has been found guilty, believe it or not. Let me remind you of the video. Here it is. Meet Calvin Riley. He's being stopped by the Tallahassee Police Department on South Monroe. Hello, sir. I'm Officer Oliver Tallahassee Police Department. She'll plant evidence of an empty liquor bottle in Riley's car before arresting him for an alleged DUI. Riley's license is suspended, and officers decide to arrest Riley on a first offense for his suspended Would license. Would you be willing to do some voluntary field sobriety exercises? Okay, here, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for us. They didn't tell him the consequences of refusing that voluntary test. Just go ahead and face the corner of the car for us. Your license is. After suspended. detaining Riley, they ask him if he smoked any marijuana. Mr. Riley, I got a quick no, question no, for you. No problem. Um, so I smelled marijuana in your vehicle. Did no, you recently no, no, smell? No, 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 no. Once he's arrested for driving with a suspended license, they can search his car. Officer Oliver leaves the car, does a 360, and then goes back in the car, retrieving a sealed liquor bottle and pours it out. That was the sound of the seal on the liquor bottle breaking. Here's another angle. While Officer Muth questions Riley about marijuana again. Did somebody else smoke in your car early? Oliver tosses the empty bottle into the passenger seat. They don't find any marijuana in the car. Here's what happened next. Here's Officer Oliver implying to Officer Muth that yes, the empty yes, bottle yes, was yes, likely what was in a cup in Riley's center console. Cover where like the knee would sit. There's an opening and he had it like st uh, tucked. Okay. And then the, the whatever he had in his cup also was tucked. Then Officer Muth tells a senior officer that they found open alcohol in the car, That's in both a bottle and a cup. Did you all um, search the car? Yeah. Okay, nothing in there? No. Well, okay, so he had a bunch of alcohol stash in there, but... Nothing open right here? Yeah, open. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, in his, like, Tervis in the center console, he had a mixed drink, and then under his knee, he had um, a, like, little bottle of vodka tucked away. When officers group to discuss the case, they all ask each other if their body cameras are off. Still on. Do any evidence of that? Marijuana? Yeah. Are you still on? Mm -hmm. The video ends at this point. Despite the evidence that you just saw, this man was still found guilty of the crime. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. All right, let's put him up full mass. Um, Calvin Riley received a guilty verdict in his DUI trial. Jurors found him guilty Monday afternoon after deliberating for less than an hour. The judge sentenced Mr. Riley to 10 days in jail and six months probation. During a pretrial hearing, Officer Kirsten Oliver has been deposed twice in this one case. In her second deposition, public defenders handed her a copy of the TPD police number 42. However, she was unable to locate any section that prohibited impounding liquids. Oliver states, I don't remember at least 16 times during her deposition. The public defender's office debated in a series of pretrial motions that testimony and body camera evidence of the liquor bottle not being uh, not be admitted as evidence in the trial. The state attorney's office objected, quote, Officer Oliver had no ill intent behind this, had no reason to believe that it would exonerate the defendant, said Assistant State Attorney Emma Hershey. Now, let's say this very clearly. Every state has a law as it pertains to open containers. If the container, the alcohol, still has the seal, there is no statutory violation. However, if the seal has been broken, now there's a statutory violation. Literally, the officer is the one on camera breaking the law. Just think about it in context. 
Take away the blue uniform. The officer is the one in possession in public with an open container. The officer is the one who places said open container inside of a vehicle. Those are your statutory violations. There's more. Officer Margaret Muith, who helped Officer Kirsten Oliver with the DUI arrest, in her arrest report, Muith wrote that, quote, a search of Riley's vehicle yielded a small, approximately five fluid ounces bottle of vodka that was opened, opened in a pocket on the driver's seat cover. During her testimony Monday, Muith said she did not know Oliver had planted, I mean opened the bottle. Quote, we found it in the evidence, we found it in the vehicle, so I listed it in my report. Because I did not want it to look like I was hiding anything, the officer said. The officer noted that Riley was already in handcuffs by the time off Officer Oliver poured out the liquor bottle. Officers testified that Riley was driving with his headlights off at night, was swerving and acting aggressive. Body camera footage played in court showed Riley yelling at the officers and refusing to take a sobriety test. The second witness was TPD Sergeant Brian Smith. He was called to the scene later to help officers Oliver and Muith transport Riley from one patrol car to another. Oliver is one of the newest hires in the department as a result of the TPD Chief Lawrence Rebels aggressive hiring practices. After the video gained thousands of views and reactions last week, TPD released a statement Denying allegations of any misconduct, department officials declined to release the full footage until after the trial. Put them up. WCTV reached out to the state attorney's office for comment on Monday. State attorney Jack Campbell responded with this statement. Quote, we greatly appreciate the hard work of the jury and of our prosecution team. We also want to thank the Tallahassee Police Department and his young officer, for doing her job despite this unwarranted attack. Unwarranted, you say. Far too many members of our community have lost their lives due to drunk driving and a jury of his peers found that he was driving while impaired that night. She made Tallahassee safer by stopping him. The media campaign was done by a professional political operative who has no obligation to make our community safe or even tell the truth, he says. His attempt to politically assassinate an officer's credibility on the internet is unconscionable. Fortunately, despite the attempts to tamper with a jury that had already been selected, they saw the truth. I hope our community will continue to trust the public servants who serve us each day, rather than the cowards who never enter the arena and just criticize those who do. Put up the AG again. Attorney General, you have now cited that a citizen engaged in jury tampering. That is a legal term of art. You have accused a citizen of a crime. Are you convening a grand jury in order to indict said citizen for interfering or tampering with the jury? If not, I recommend this individual sue the hell out of you quickly for defamation, slander, libel. You're careless, AG. You know good and damn well what that officer did was completely outside of protocol. And then the fact that the report, the police report indicated that the bottle was found in that manner without providing context as to the fact that the partner officer did it. So if this was all about being on the up and up and not hiding anything, why hide that part of the police report? Unwarranted my ass. All right. Um, You know, here's the thing, Sharon. Maybe the guy was impaired that night. Maybe he has a drinking problem. That is possible. But there's a fact here that we know. And the fact is, the officer planted evidence, period. All right, what say you? Here's what I say. Um, The system is working exactly as Mm. it's designed against black people. Note to black people in Tallahassee, you got to get out of the state. Got to get out of the city, the state. 
FAMU students, stay on campus. You are in danger. There is a threshold, Doc, to due process. And any uniform officer who behaves unlawfully and or sloppily, didn't know the law, lied on the body cam, I believe is still lying today. I can't look at anything else. Who's inebriated, who's driving on the, I, I can't trust you. I gotta throw you out of there. And I'll make one other point, the fix is in because of course, as you know, prosecutors and uh, police, they work together. And in this case, perhaps also with members of the public who don't share the world view of a black man, they're working in concert. Yeah, definitely working in concert. Um, this is a conspiracy in my opinion. All right, we will bring you updates if there's an update that comes.